All right, let's take a look at one more uh, use case, which is when you have multiple presenters. Remember, we had those two cameras in the back of the room earlier, and there's two cameras there, even though we've only been using one camera to track the presenter as they're walking back and forth. So what's going on there? Well. One of those cameras, even though it's providing a nice tight shot of the presenter, the other one is keeping a wide shot of the entire room. And this is the conductor cam. The conductor cam is watching the stage, regardless of what that single presenter camera is doing, to find out whether or not another presenter might be entering the stage, a multi-presenter situation. And if that's the case, then this is different than auto framing, right? This is different than just trying to make sure I have both faces in view on that single cam. This is when the entire stage needs to be monitored for when someone else walks on stage off cam. So the conductor cam will detect another presenter's on the stage and then trigger whatever you want to have happen. Maybe you want to have the single presenter camera pull back and get the entire shot again. Maybe you want to toggle and just use the conductor cam's feed itself as your new angle. Whatever it is you want to have happen, that's what's going to happen when you have the conductor cam detecting multiple people on stage. And obviously when one person leaves and we detect that there's only a single person left in the presentation trigger area, then it returns to its normal operation when there's a single presenter. So let's take a look at multiple presenters in Austin in action. Yeah, so I noticed earlier, one of our QSIS guys on our screen resembles one of our audience members. Koi, why don't you come on up and let's see if everybody can tell our shocking resemblance we have between Koi and QSIS guy who's uh, giving his mustache Oscar a run for the money. Some mustache competition going on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we do. <laughs> Thank you, Koi. And so you'll see when it went to Koi, it went out to a wide shot, and now it's pulling right back in and just picking up tracking on me once he leaves that area. 